You're right guys, Gary aka Hopeless back again. In this video we are finishing off the Animal Adventures RPG starter set minis with Salan, the Persian Warlock. I've had a lot of fun painting these guys and uh, I have already prepped the next load for the Gullet Cove expansion. I am going to get these all finished before the, uh, the Lost Coast is released next year. Well that's the plan anyway. This video has taken a lot longer to finish than it should have. Uh, we've had some medical issues in the family. That means my son has been off of childminders. Little trip to the hospital, but he's okay now. Anyway, let's get on with the painting. As always, starting with a black primer with a white xenophil highlight, although that was mainly for contrast paints, which I did not use at all in this one, I don't think. For the fur I used Pro Acryl's Bright Neutral Grey and then topped it off with uh, some Citadel Null Oil. For the robe I used Pro Acryl's Jade. Um, really I'm just trying to use colours that I don't or haven't really used on any other minis yet. But, uh, give a nice feel for how uh, everything looks. For the robes underneath, or not the robes, for the leggings and the hood, it was faded plum. Going over the robes and the uh, under stuff to so the leggings and the hood. I use Citadel's uh, Druchy, Druchy Violet. can never say that name right. Uh, for the inside lining of the robe and his hat it was uh, Proactral's Bold Pyrol Red. And for the leather belt and straps, it was Proacro's Light Umber. I've actually quite liked using uh, this paint range. Some nice colours. And it's forcing me not to rely on contrast too much. Which is nice. For the ropes and little tassely bits, it was uh, Golden Brown with uh, Agrax Earthshade to do a little bit of uh, shading on those. The metallics, it was uh, bronze and rich gold, again from Pro Acryl. And for the eyes, I wanted something a bit brighter, so I used uh, grey blue. And for the little pouch on his side, it was black green, so a nice dark green there. And then silver going all of the over all the buckles and studs in the belt and the bottom of the robe. And then it was Reichland Flesh Shade going over the gold uh, jewelry bits. Moving on to the base, I stuck some rocks down or some little stones and used AK Interactive's Dark Earth. The eyes and the nose I did with a very fine point fine liner pen. So that might rub off at some point. And then I dry brushed over the earth with bright neutral grey again. Just to just to break it up a little bit. And then stuck a couple of tufts around and that finished it all off. And there he is, that is Salan, the Persian Warlock, all finished. I don't know why, but I quite like painting the animal minis that I've got. Something a bit different to the uh, the fantasy stuff I've been doing recently. I do have uh, a considerable amount of minis for the, the, uh, the Gullet Cove expansion to uh, paint up, so they have all been prepared. I've also got some Oath Sworn minis for burrows and badgers uh, ready to go as well, so... Uh, Let's see how long this lasts. 
I have been trying to uh, work on a way to record paint or paint record edit and upload quickly which I think this style sort of works I mean not going or not filming too many details of me actually painting and giving the final product I think looks uh, looks a lot better than just like 20 seconds of yeah well touching up the model really um yeah sorry I am so tired work is hell well no work's a bit hectic and obviously uh, with the kid not being too well that's had a bit of an effect on me this week so I am a little bit drained but uh, it's all good it's nearly Christmas and it's all good in any case sorry for rambling thank you so much for watching let me know what you think down below in the comments is this style of editing better or worse do you prefer it when it's just like nearly 20 minutes of actual painting or should I stick to the uh, end result let me know what you think down below in the comments if you're new to the channel and did enjoy this video please do leave a like and co uh, subscribe comment let me know what you think as always I am Gary aka Hopeless and hopefully as long as nothing else goes wrong I should see you in the next video very soon so until then see ya <laughs>